Hey, welcome to the video. I wanted to make this one because in one of my recent videos, I talked about the fact that once you get people off of social media, you want to have an email to send them, right? You want to communicate with them through email. And the best way to do that is to nurture the email. You can't just send them frivolous sales and offers. People are just going to block your email. But if you nurture it and you build value, it's almost like getting a text message from a friend or getting a weekly newsletter that you love getting. So here's just a very simple rundown of what you could do in your email nurture funnel. This is, again, after you get them off social media, you've gathered their list, their email, and you've added it to your list. Now you're going to welcome them to the list. You could just say, hey, welcome to my email list. If you don't want this, unsubscribe now. <laughs> right? You could just say that. You could say, hey, this is what this email list is about. This is what this email list is for. If you're not this person, unsubscribe. You're giving them the opportunity to unsubscribe. You're telling them that this is a very transparent email. I'm not trying to trick you. I'm not trying to force you into something or you know steal your soul kind of thing. I don't want to waste your day either. So this is what this email is. This is what you should expect. Here you go. You're just welcoming them. Then you want to build education and value. People spend money on things they find valuable. Right? The guy going through the midlife crisis is going to buy a really expensive car. He finds value in that because he has a midlife crisis. So you want to build education and value. Not always, though, because some people, they don't care about that. Right? You, can't, you can't bring a horse to water and make it drink. Right? If I bring somebody to the email and say, hey, you have to do this, and they don't want to, I just I lost that person. So I don't want to do that. So the next email, I'm going to do a story and a connection. Try to just have them relate to me. I'm right. I'm a human being too. I have the same problems that they have. I have the same issues, the same thought processes, the same anxiety or whatever it is. I'm going to create a story and some type of connection, especially if you're solving a problem for your potential clients. The people on your list have a problem that you've probably dealt with before. So share the story of the problem you had and what epiphany you had and how it transformed your life to understand that epiphany and uh, move forward and now you want to share it kind of thing. You could highlight your services. Now, this could be in terms of testimonials and say, hey, this person just bought this thing and this is what they got to do this weekend or whatever. You just want to highlight, not going in too much dip, depth, short emails. You're not trying to bombard them with a novel every day. Then you could offer them exclusive content. Say, hey, remember that thing I talked about last Monday? Well, actually, we're doing a sale right now. If you're interested in it, click the button below to learn more. Otherwise, have a great day. Super simple. Then you want to handle objections. Hey, remember that thing I just offered you yesterday? Well, in case you, you know, were thinking about it and you needed some clarity, here's some things that you might be objective to. Right? They might say, ah, well, maybe it's too much money. You don't even know how much it is. Click the button below to learn more. Those kinds of things limited offer. If you are offering something and you're really pushing for this, then you're going to want to have a limited time frame, right? You need to create some type of scarcity for them to take action on. And then you're going to do social proof in the next email and a call to action. The social proof is testimonials. You could do one big success story if you're starting out and you don't have a lot of testimonials, right? You're just trying to build authority and trust with the person. You've already built education and value. You've told them a story that relates with them. You've shown the services, but not in too much detail, right? You're not trying to bombard them. You're trying to nurture them. If at any point you press too hard, they could run away. We're not trying to scare people. We're trying to be honest, open human beings who are running a business, right? And then your call to action saying, hey, this is what it is. If you don't want it, that's totally fine. No biggie, but it's here if you do want it. All right. And then you try to move them into another bucket of follow-up where you're just telling stories and more success or something like that, or you try to move them into another funnel. If they said yes to this and they bought that offer, you'd move them one way. If they said no to this, I don't want it, you'd move them a different way. Maybe you have to do a longer nurturing cycle, or maybe you have to just tell them the offer sooner. Some people are like that. Some people just want to know what you're trying to sell them. If they're interested, they'll buy it. If they're not, then they won't. Right? So depending on your type of demographic, your audience, who you serve will determine what your nurturing funnel email sequence looks like. But this is a nice little rundown uh, with nine emails. Yeah, nine. Because it takes between five and 12 emails and contact to get a hold of somebody. So they probably didn't see the first six, but they might see the last three kind of thing. All right. If you enjoyed this, please let me know what else you want to see. I'm going to go over these types of concepts. If you want this PDF, you can get it at caninebusinessbuilders.com forward slash map, caninebusinessbuilders.com forward slash map. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.